I didn't go our way. They made some shots. We slowed down, start holding the ball, becoming indecisive. Uh, and the result was what it was. You talk about the tail of two different halves. That first half is, you know, what we're working toward, to your point, um, coming out of those last two games, those last two wins, and then the inconsistency, you know, showed up, reared its head in the second half. But, you know, we can't feel sorry for ourselves and make excuses. We saw the same people that put together that first half the same ones that allowed that second half. And we just have to decide uh, which, which team we're going to be. Um, we've seen how dominant we can be when we've done it right and we're healthy. And we've seen, you know, when we, when we haven't done it so right and, and, we, and you know, we are dealing with different body issues, health issues. But at the end of the day, you suit up, you got to come out there and compete and, and compete as a unit. And um, that second half wasn't reflective of that. D does that tell you something about just the season as a whole, right? Like kind of some, some good and then some bad, and obviously is the record's around 500, or do you feel like there's that still, despite today, there's some kind of a corner turn and now you know what needs to get done? Yeah, I mean, I mean it's, it's, it sucks because, like, we had been playing some really great basketball, beat a couple of great teams in Brooklyn, you know, despite their record. That's a good, young, hungry ball club that has a lot of skill everywhere. Um, and we have to be, you know, I just told them, you can throw the records out the window. Uh, we're the Lakers. No matter who we play, no matter where we play them, we're going to get everyone's best game. Uh, we have to be ready to come out and, and give the best versions of ourselves and not be so caught up in not saying that we were, but Again, we could throw the records out the window. It's not about who we're playing. It's about how we want to present ourselves on both sides of the basketball. Darvin, second half, clearly, but it obviously started in the third quarter. And um, you guys had a six-point lead. They take the lead, and you guys called timeout with about eight minutes to go in the quarter. What's the message at that point, and, and what's it like to try to halt momentum uh, when you can feel a game shifting it's tough because you, you don't want to burn through timeouts you're trying to find it you know we had some guys that didn't shoot the ball well tonight but you know you can't shot making shouldn't you know di dictate how you play how you compete it should be the other way around like you got to come out and thrust yourself into the game get your rhythm within the game on the defensive end doing the little intangible things and shot making is a bonus. You know, you play great defense, you're going to get run outs, you're going to get easy shots, easy looks. Um, but, I mean, you just try to tell them, you know, you don't, you don't go into panic mode. You never want to do that. You just tell them what, what it is, you know, be clear. You know, we, we, we're giving up. We're not getting back. I mean, one, one possession, we get a layup, they get a dunk the very next play. You can't have plays like that. Not when you're trying to go where we're trying to go and, and be the type of team we're trying to be. You got to compete harder. Can't assume someone else is going to get a rebound or set a screen or run back or sprint ahead for your teammate to be open. You have to have a mindset to do all of that, you know, if need be, and as consistent as possible. Has it been concerning that you guys haven't been able to string together those type of consistent performances, you know, for a longer stretch of stretch of time, especially over like the past month or month or so, month, uh, month or so. Yeah, it's tough, man. When you, you you're dealing with you're managing bodies that have injuries or or you know some hurt spots and some sore spots, so it makes it damn near impossible to have a practice. Um, it definitely affects your shoot arounds. Um, you know, you're trying to collaborate with the medical team and and, and the performance staff. And try to see what's best. You know, you can't you can't get emotional about it. You know, you can be passionate, but passionate with intelligence um, in terms of not just doing something to do something. And just because you're mad and upset, you still have to be smart because that anger, you proving a point in a practice, can spill over into two or three games. But at the end of the day, you know, we try to be as efficient as possible. We watch a ton of film. We'll definitely do that, watch this game, and, and, and make it more about our principles and, again, the type of team we, we want to be. Um, it's over for the excuses, man. We, we, we got to play basketball.